just to start off, I was wondering if you could uh, give us an overview of the key findings from the study. I know it was um, evaluating the use of medical cannabis in patients with dystonia. So if you could just speak to the key findings, um, address if any of them were surprising in any way, that would be great. Okay, sure. I just uh, at the beginning want to have the want to say that I, I have no disclosures. And this study I'm about to present was not funded by any agency. Um, and actually, I would like to start that in Israel, uh, the Ministry of Health uh, approved the, the use of medical cannabis for different hyper and hypokinetic um, disorders since the last decade, actually. So uh, we, uh, the, the physicians gained a lot of experience treating patients with medical cannabis. So according to our observations, we saw that some of our patients that we give them cannabis for maybe hypokinetic disorders like Parkinson's, but also for hyperkinetic uh, disorders, they, they gain some benefits. So this is actually uh, the motivation for me uh, to employ this study. And this study is a retrospective study. It, we interviewed 23 patients with dystonia from several, several uh, etiologies and several body distributions. And we actually asked them how, how the cannabis influenced dystonia, pain, which is related to dystonia, uh, and also their quality of life. So the, this, this, of course, is a small group of patients. It was, a, a, it was basically half and half female and male. The, media, the, the average age was 52. And uh, all of the patients, of course, used cannabis. And I, I can say that the results were pretty, uh, were pretty good because more than 50% of patients uh, reported, subjectively, of course, uh, that they, are, they gained a satisfactory results using cannabis on the dystonia itself. And more than 85% of those patients reported improvement in the pain related to dystonia which is pretty amazing. And also around 60% of, of those 23 patients reported uh, improvement in their quality of life during the cannabis, during the use of cannabis. And I didn't say, but uh, there was an average of two and a half years of, of using medical cannabis among this cohort, which is a long time uh, for, for a medicine uh, to treat dystonia. So those were the, the main results, but actually you asked me about the surprising result. And for me, uh, the surprising result was that I saw a significant difference between compounds of medical cannabis, which are THC rich in comparison to CBD rich. And we found that THC rich products were much better beneficial in terms of dystonia and pain uh, compared to CBD rich compounds. And I think this is pretty significant because in this field of dystonia, it's really not, uh, we don't know exactly which cannabis compounds are, uh, are beneficial. So for me, this was surprising. 